We're going to talk about how to quickly remove gap rows in Excel data. And so I have a data set here in columns A through C. And you can see I have uh, gap rows here in various places. And so what I want to do is I want to get rid of all of these gap rows and just have the data going down with no gaps. And so the first way that you would think to do this would be to just delete the rows. Um, but this is going to be time consuming if we have a lot of uh, data. So the way to do this uh, without deleting things in, in one move is we're going to come over here to the right and we're going to pick the first line here and we're going to just come over here to the right so column F is fine and we're going to hit equals filter and we have three parameters here okay we have the array that we want it to to look at and then we have something called include and if empty and so if empty is optional we're going to leave that blank the include though is going to what we're going to use to get rid of the blank rows. And so for the array, we're going to just choose the entire data set we have here. This tells it where it needs to look. Then for include, this is where we're going to filter it. And so we want to filter out anything that doesn't have any data in it. And so the easiest way to do this is to use the len function. The len function it's going to return a number based on the characters in the text string. So for the <clears throat> blank rows, it's going to be zero. And for the non-blank rows, it's going to be greater than zero. So we're going to say len. And it doesn't matter which column in this situation. So uh, we're going to choose the first one here, uh, column A. We're going to come all the way down. It's going to look at the, the length of column A. And then we want it to include any rows that are greater than zero, so are not blank. Enter, and there we go. We have a list with no spaces. And so now what we need to do, though, is we need to highlight this, and we need to copy it. And then we're going to paste it right back in with just the values. And so that's going to get rid of the formula and put these into the cells. And then the final step is to just delete this original data set.